Hi, my name is Kenyu, and today we're going to share with you guys some brand new camera from Runcam. This is the Runcam Thumb 2. And we also have Runcam Thumb Pro Wide in my hands and also a Happy GoPro 12. So today we're going to just compare and check out which one is the best for you. So let's get started. I already used this Runcam Thumb Pro Wide for over two years and there is a full review video in the link. So make sure you check it out if you want to. Okay, so this is the Run Kim Thumb 2. This is definitely heavier. This is like 27 grams. Thumb Pro Wide is 16 grams, like 11 grams different. So yeah, if you're flying like super small, tiny whoop, yeah, this is like a big weight difference. Yo, finally, Type-C port. So if you don't want to solder any cables onto your flight controller, you can buy these like GoPro balance lead to uh, Type-C cable. And you can power up your Runcam Thumb 2 without any soldering. But if you are going to solder your cable onto your drone, the connector is slightly different. So you got to re-solder it one more time. The size is actually dramatically different. It's like thicker, wider, and taller. Every dimension is larger. Listen to this. This is the front protecting glass shaking sound. This is the weakest part on the Runcam series cameras because if you don't use some gluey glue to stick this glass in place, it will just fly out in the middle of the shoot. Or if you crash and come back, your lens is cracked because this piece of glass just flew away. Who knows? So I just use some gluey glue to like stick it in place. This is not s s firmly secure at all. So I will recommend to use some gluey glue to glue it up. So the SD card is in a different position. So the old version, the SD card, you need to open a little plastic cover, then you can access the SD card. Then after a few crashes, the SD card will like pop up a little bit. Then there is like a SD card arrow. In the new version, the Runcam Thumb 2, SD card don't even have a cover. We just pop in and it just lock in place. I don't know, is it secure or not? But right now it looks pretty secure and pretty easy to use, easier to access your SD card. Okay, so we have a user manual in the box. Okay, and we have some mounting options over here. So the mount is definitely different because the size is like dramatically different. So we have two brand new cables. So one is for the like powering up the entire camera and one is for like video transfer i don't know or camera control that kind of stuff okay side by side comparison run Kim thumb pro wide and run Kim thumb 2. we already matched the settings but some of the settings are a little bit different the app settings are a little bit different so this is pretty weird so if i set the run Kim thumb 2 iso to manual so right now it's at 100 we cannot even set the exposure even the shutter is at auto. So I always set ISO to 100 in these little cameras. So if we cannot change the exposure value in this Runcam Thumb 2, this is like a no-no for me because why? 100, ISO 100, we cannot change the exposure value the shutter speed, we can change it. But like, it's so dark. I don't know what the heck is the Ron Kim Thumb 2 doing, the newer version. The older version, the exposure algorithm looks way better i don't know it just looks better so and we also can change the exposure value so if we set that to 100 we can like plus one ev or like minus one ev depends on what you are going to shoot so we have the flexibility to control the exposure value on the older version if we want to like raise the exposure to get a cleaner image and sacrifice a little bit like motion clearness we can do it on the thumb pro wide we cannot do it on the thumb pro and thumb too so the video files we have a huge improvement so the old run cam thumb pro wide we can only do 60 megabit per second video bit rate and the new run cam thumb no pro run cam thumb 2 we can do 100 megabit per second so like 
almost double the bit rate. Yeah, so right now we're stuck with auto ISO on the Runkin Thumb 2 and we're still going to use ISO 100 on the Runkin Thumb Pro wide because it can. Side by side comparison again. So right now both of them are at video quality high resolution. Both of them are in 4K 30, but on the Thumb Pro wide, Thumb Pro wide, the older version, we are in X view. X view is a four by three image squeezed into a 16 by nine video. So it's a squeezed video. But on a thumb too, we can do native four by three image. And saturation, contrast and sharpness, both of them are set to the lowest settings because I feel like it's a best looking image. And the only difference is the ISO. ISO is set to auto on a thumb too because if we set to 100, the auto exposure is not going to work. Let's test the auto exposure algorithm right now and also test the lens quality, the lens flare test. So just simulate some kind of bright light source, just like sunlight shine straight into the glass. Never mind, we're still going to redo the ISO 100 test because the Runkin Thumb 2, if you set the ISO to auto, the ISO go way too high. The image, the entire image is so grainy and noisy. The image quality looks horrible because we cannot change the exposure value on the Runcam Thumb 2. So let's just try to use the old camera to match the exposure. Let's set EV to maybe minus two, I think. Okay, next test. Every settings are identical. So no any changes. The only changes is the exposure value I set to minus two on the Runcam Thumb Pro wide. And the Thumb 2 is still the same. ISO 100, we cannot change the exposure value. So which one looks better? Noise control, dynamic range, or highlight, and the shadow details. Yeah. Also color, which color looks better? So this is like a purple magenta color right now so not gonna lie the run cam thumb 2 right now it's just totally trash the footage looks horrible and because it always underexposed so much stuff maybe like two two stops i think so every shadow detail which is crushed you can still boost it in post but like the shadow will be lots of blocky because it's still a h264 video file okay next test we're going to try the 4k 60 frame on the runcam thumb 2 so the thumb 2 double the frame rate but it doesn't double the bit rate so i don't know which one looks better right now the exposure value are totally the same i saw 100 on both camera and the thumb pro wide set to minus two EV. And little details about the lens. Lens quality is way better on the thumb too, although the lens focus and distance is dramatically different. The lens flare is well control and the edge sharpness is better than the older design, but everything else are worse. Like the size is bigger, the weight is heavier, the power consumption is higher, the um, detail, looks pretty identical the exposure control is worse and the contrast is too high the saturated color is too saturated so i definitely highly recommend the runcam thumb pro 4k there is a review video about this camera i'll put a link below but the runcam thumb 2 holy smoke just don't buy this right now because this is like like a better version camera 